Well, in many areas, we've finally made our way above freezing here this noontime, and our temperatures will continue to climb a few additional degrees, but uh, it's certainly been a cold March so far. In fact, through the first uh, three plus weeks of the month, we're averaging out here the second coldest March on record. And you combine February and March, it's the coldest two months on record. 2015 is average here during those two months, just 24 degrees. Like smashing the old record from 1916 of 27 degrees. 1934, we beat the winter of 1978 and 1923 had an average February and March combined temperature of 29.2 degrees. Now, I do see a warm up here for the last few days here of this work week. Our temperatures today staying in the 30s. We're right now at 32 degrees in Providence and Westerly, 30, Smithfield, 34, Newport and New Bedford, and 35 now in Tom as we view our live camera in Narragansett, bright blue skies, but uh, still feeling very chilly. I have to add in even just a light wind right now, which has made a difference in how comfortable it feels outside, but we're still talking wind chills that are in the 20s at times for Newport. It feels like 28, 26 in Westerly, Boston, new wind chill right now, 26 degrees. And in Providence, the winds are very light. So our threat tracker future cast for today, tonight, and into tomorrow will remain low. By tomorrow night, we're going to start to see some unsettled moving weather moving in, but traveling up our interstates right now into the upper reaches of Narragansett Bay, all is quiet. Here's another view of Pasco with the sun shining and we have the clear skies down at the uh, URI quad. Boy, winds this time of year can make a big difference and they were going to keep them light through the afternoon. So the temperature is climbing up to about 37 degrees with lots of sunshine. We'll hold on to clear skies tonight, dry. And once again, another cold night, low temperatures falling into the mid 20s. By tomorrow, the temperatures climb to the mid 40s with fading sun. I think we're dry for most of the afternoon, but by the evening, we'll start to track some showers. And I want to talk about the timing of that. Right now, it's high pressure that's going to be keeping us dry through the remainder of the day. And overnight tonight, we've got a little disturbance that's been kept two hours south and that will steer clear of our area and see what the future cast rest of this afternoon. The mostly clear skies and then at 1130 at night, dry skies, light winds. It'll be a chilly start to your Wednesday morning. We have the sunshine to start, but increasing clouds during the afternoon on Wednesday. Notice at five o'clock in the evening, this batch of showers. This is with a warm front. It's going to bring a few showers into our area Wednesday evening and Wednesday night looking fairly light. As for Thursday, I do expect rounds of rain during the day. There'll be some lulls in between. A very mild day for us on Thursday, the warmest of the week, but it's unsettled and breezy with temperatures climbing from the 30s today into the 40s tomorrow and then 50s on Thursday. One thing that we all are looking at with the showers on Wednesday, some fog to go along with it. So very humid conditions. We're going to have to watch the amount of rainfall combined with the snow melt on Thursday. Could see some street poor drainage flooding and even some rises in our local rivers and streams. It's going to be a pretty uh, significant snow melting stretch here from Wednesday night through Friday morning. By Friday afternoon, cooler air is going to start to arise. So while we may climb to near 51 on